ocean is an interconnected series of ecosystems that spans across the entire globe. Diverse marine biomes beneath the ocean surface sustain a great deal of Earth's life and populations. Due to human activities, however, many key ocean species are being threatened and face extinction. The effects of their extinction are not limited to their species or population. Rather, the implications will ripple outwards to have far-reaching effects on other ecosystems. Sharks in particular are in a clear and present danger. For example, the hammerhead, an odd-looking but majestic shark, has seen its populations decline by up to 89% between 1986 and 2000, and populations have decreased by 90 or even 100% in certain places in the Pacific. 97 million total sharks were killed in 2010 alone. There are a number of threats causing shark populations to decline, and the source of almost all of these threats is humans. Shark finning is one anthropogenic activity contributing to shark population decline. Finning is the act of removing the fins of a shark while the shark is still alive. Approximately 2% of the shark is harvested during the finning process. The other 98% of the shark is tossed back into the ocean where the mutilated body sinks and dies of suffocation. Shark finning has been on the rise in recent years. Singapore imported 2,600 metric tons of shark fins in 2013, while Hong Kong imported 5,400 metric tons in the same year. Malaysia has imported upwards of 18,000 metric tons of shark fins. Along with the thousands of sharks being caught and mutilated every year due to shark finning, many are also being caught by accident, a phenomenon known as bycatch. Bycatch is a term for fish or other marine animals that are unintentionally caught during commercial fishing for other species. It is estimated that around 50 million sharks are caught as bycatch every year. Longline fishing and gill nets are the most common commercial fishing methods that catch sharks as bycatch. There are many clear effects that shark finning and bycatch can have on shark populations. For example, shark size has been trending downwards in the past few years. Sharks grow as they age but most of them are now killed before they reach the historical average size. Many sharks are keystone species, meaning they have a disproportionately large effect on their ecosystem. Keystone species play a crucial role in the way their ecosystem functions, like glue that holds the ecosystem together. If the keystone species is removed, then the ecosystem would change drastically or completely fall apart. Off the east coast of the United States, sharks feed heavily on cow nose rays, thus keeping the ray population in check. These rays feed on bivalves, such as scallops and oysters. Since the number of sharks are keeping the number of rays under control, the bivalve population is also kept stable. If sharks are removed from the ecosystem, the number of rays increases dramatically, causing the bivalve population to crash. It doesn't take long for the rays to eat all the bivalves, so over time, the ray population will also crash. Sharks are essential in order to prevent a major worldwide ecological shift. The Shark Conservation Act has been somewhat helpful in reducing the amount of sharks caught and it has put into place education programs for fisheries about how to avoid sharks in bycatch. However, more education on this subject is needed for consumers and the general public. 
Humans have an enormous impact on the environment, and in order to save our world, we must act now to save the sharks.